I don't know anyone who didn't have an etch and sketch when they were a kid. I personally spent hours doodling on one of these things till one day when my older brother accidentally ate mine. But I have to admit, I've never really understood how one of these things works. So we posed this question to the folks at Ohio Art, and they went nuts. They sent brochures, copies of newspaper articles, postcards, really just a mountain of Etch-a-Sketch paraphernalia. Did you know that they have an Etch-a-Sketch fan club? Did you know some guy did the Mona Lisa on an Etch-a-Sketch? I mean, how much spare time did that guy have? Well, you know, that's all well and good, but it occurred to me that there's a distinct effort here to avoid my question. And rather than reveal trade secrets, they decided to bombard me with uh, trivia, hoping the point would get lost. Well, Ohio Art, I don't give up so easily. We scoured every page and found the truth buried deeply in that mountain of stuff you sent us. This is how Netsch's sketch works. Down at the bottom of the machine, there's two white knobs. You turn the left one, you get a vertical line. You turn the other knob, you get a horizontal line. And between those two knobs, you can draw with it. So now you know. This is Jason Pargin, your consumer advocate, bidding you happy drawing.